Okay guys, I'm showing you one of the rows where the higher population was planted. Something I want to point out here, see these two plants I have my hand on, they are a little bit too close together. I'd consider this guy here a misplaced seed. He should be somewhere along in there, right? So we have equidistant here and here. You know, one of the challenges mechanically with the wider rows is the fact that because we're on a wider row, the within the row plant spacing is inherently going to be more difficult to get right. Um, sure drive helps a lot with that. So let me explain a little bit further. Let's say that you watching this video, you are on a 38, excuse me, a 30 inch system. And I'm on a 38 and we plant the exact same population. Just because our row spacings are different, my seeds are going to be closer together within the row than yours are. So that's one of the challenges that we have on a wide row corn production system. Now that being said, there are a lot of good reasons that guys have uh, in cotton producing areas for sticking with a 38 inch row. Sometimes it's uh, their equipment, the way it's configured. Sometimes it's soil types and farming on beds. You've got, you've got reasons that you stick with it. So if you're gonna stick with a wider row corn production system, learn as much as you can about getting your planter set up properly so that you can really evenly space these seeds and make sure you pick hybrids if you are gonna push populations that are gonna be more responsive to your management. Um, if you are gonna push populations on a 38 inch uh, row system, 36 inch or maybe a 40 inch corn system, you really need to have something on your planter like SureDrive where you're making sure that you accurately space every single seed just because on a wide row system there's very little room for error as you can see right here these these are a little bit misplaced I'm, I'll probably be okay here but I really wish this guy was here instead there again, on a wide row system, you've got less room for error, and you add a high population to that, it makes it even more difficult. 